This royal throne of kings, this sceptered isle, this earth of majesty, this seat of Mars, this other Eden, demi-paradise, this fortress built by nature for herself against infection and the hand of war. They say Brits play the best villains. But what makes a great villain? Firstly, you need to sound distinct. Speak with an eloquence that lets everyone know who's in charge. Gentlemen. Excellent. Now a villain should have style. A suit should always be bespoke, razor sharp, like your wit. It's important that a villain has the means to say, one step ahead. World domination starts with attention to detail. Take this tiny switch, for example. It changes everything. Now brace yourselves. This happy breed of men. This little world. This precious stone set in the Silver Sea against the envy of less happier lands. This blessed plot. This earth. This realm. This England. <laughs> it's all mine. A villain should have a sense of understated threat. After all, there's no need to shout when you have this much presence. Unless, of course, you really want to. A villain should always have a sense of style. Something that says you mean business. The finest materials and craftsmanship. After all, it doesn't hurt to be ready to impress. A villain needs to think on his feet, but most importantly, always have a trick up his sleeve to ensure a clean getaway. To stay calm and controlled under pressure. It's important for a villain to stay up to speed with the latest technology. For example, this little switch is just the beginning. With sharpened instincts, you can make the most of any opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> 